All right, we're going to review a few things today uh, that have to do with uh, balance testing. The first thing that we're going to talk about is what it takes to do the balance testing. And uh, the only equipment you need is a chair, uh, preferably a 17-inch chair uh, with a hard back, no arms. If you don't have that, just try not to push off the arms if you, if you can. Uh, and if you don't have that, just use what you have. Obviously, uh, not everyone's going to have a standard chair rise test chair ready. Uh, so just use what you have. Uh, the first and most important thing is during this test is safety first. So don't go so fast that you feel out of control or dizzy. Uh, you have to use safety. And then uh, the second thing is just do your very best. And uh, with this test, at the end of this video, we'll look over some numbers that predict whether or not you are at risk for falling. So first and foremost, let's do the test together. So let's get in our chair. You're going to be sitting. Uh, standard for the test is arms crossed, but like I said, safety first. If you need to have your arms out, that's okay. So arms crossed, and for 30 seconds, you just stand up and sit down. So we'll do this test together. I'll time off 30 seconds. We'll start in uh, in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Make sure to count. Good. And that's the end of 30 seconds. So whatever number you got, all the way up, all the way down, that's the number you got. Remember that number? It's going to be important because we're going to pull up the normative values for what's going to be a uh, fall prediction. So you'll notice here on this chart, there is ages. And with those ages, there's a, a men's column and a women's column. What this means is if you, uh, let's say you're a, a male, find your age category, and then follow down to your age category, and look at that number. It has a less than sign, and then a series of numbers. With that, if you got less than the number listed for your age, you are at greater risk for falling. And this isn't just some number I'm pulling out of the air. This is from the Center for Disease Control, or the CDC, which helps track these type of things. So uh, as you look at that, Make sure that uh, you are not in a fall risk, and if you are, subscribe to these videos, and uh, I'll give you more tips and tricks on how to avoid falls, gain more leg strength, and how to improve your balance. So thanks for tuning in. I hope that your balance is good. If not, let's make it better, and we'll catch you at our next video.